Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia, the Dark Dis- or, wait, no, Machine for Pigs. Um, so we're gonna be moving on, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I want to use that though, everywhere's kind of lit up already. Assuming I don't want to go towards the scraping. Last time I did... Something, uh... Got a little mad at me. Can I leave out here now? No. Okay. I forgot where the guest bathroom was. But okay. So if Oh, I am off to market. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have none at all. Okay. Have I been over here? I have not. How did I not notice this? I don't know. How did I find it so easily? Also something not known. It's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. Okay, I see something moving in the dark, and I'm not sure I like that too much. Just going to say that out right now. Okay. Here's a little lantern. Oh. That wasn't just a wall. Okay. Uh. That doesn't sound friendly. Okay. Well, there's a door right here, so I'm not going to open it. Gonna walk along. Come and see, Papa. We found an egg. A stone egg. Ah, interesting. Okay. What is this stone egg? Wait, is that the orb? Oh no, I hear creaking. Oh. See, I I backed back upstairs, so I don't, you know, this could have all been avoided. Against the rising waters, curled into his cabin, he barely noticed the passing leaks as well nearly sunk her, but his fever kept it afloat. In the dark, he sung, his song glowing. Ooh la la. What is happening here? Oh, it is dark. Oh, the lantern doesn't help very much, does it? Oh, there's some rats. Why, why is there just a... Okay. I realize now that my fear of dirt stems from the disease I contracted climbing those lost jungle temples. It is as if those clean places so free of manuscripts have printed upon my soul and left it fragile to what I find here. Fear is what keeps us all in our places in the fear of the flesh. The ruin of the flesh is the greatest of them all. I am sick and I am ruined. But I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. Ah. Okay. I'm not sure that machine was as good as it seemed. I'm just going to say that right now. Oh boy. Come on, slow coach. It's this way. Uh, was it a trick? I was on the phone. He seemed so close to my own. 
seems to know me so well. Does it lead him to the various purposes of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I'll follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Oh. Mel ticking as it cools and contracts. It must be a strange machine my new friend told me of. If my friend kill and discover this place, it is entirely confusable. They strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well, seems I'm rather predestined. The descent begins. Oh gosh, descending. I don't like that. Okay, did that barrel move? Who knows? Please stop whistling at me. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? I don't know. Okay. I'm. No, I, I'm. Oh, why? Why? Why am I little? Am I short? Am I short in this existence? Okay. I am, I am very nice to the environment, as you can see. Oh, that is very dark. Oh boy. Nope. 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 Okay, the only thing I can hear is far off. I see nothing moving. Okay. I hate that. Why did that roll? What's over here? Uh, how about not? Is not something I can... You know what? He isn't too far too heavy. Let me lift dinner. Okay. Wait. Uh, lots of fuses, one motor cannot be spun the gate will rain. I know where one is. I actually threw it away. So let me actually just go back and grab that one. Or oh, one's right here. Well, I guess there's multiple around, so it's fine. Fuse. Okay, maybe I should check around first. Oh, there was a fuse right there. Oh, there's multiple fuses, okay. Okay, that does not work. And how about that door? That ominous closed door. Okay, well, it decides to remain closed, and I'm fine with that. Okay, I shall hide in this room. Good. Now, this should be able to work, right? Yeah. I don't know exactly what this is doing, but... Okay. Please stop making rumbly sounds. It's kind of scary. Okay, this is open now. Eh... Uh... It's fine, probably. Okay. Uh-huh. 
I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Uh huh. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. Well, that's nice. Uh. Okay. Well, I can go upwards. So that is pretty nice. Okay, never mind. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, boy, did I... Wait. Okay. What is this? Oh! Okay. Oh, I guess I was needed to release, maybe, or go up? Probably. Uh... That fuse was not broken, so that's good. So I didn't want to have to go look, go grab one. So what did that do? Okay, can I open this? No. There's something moving back there. That's nice, I guess. Okay, what does that go to? I should probably know. But I have no idea. This looks like a room I haven't been in. <gasps> uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's hunky dory. I'm happy as can be. You're not very open. You are, though. Unless I've already been this way. I honestly don't know what's happening half the time. Oh, man. What happened? Uh, another compounded fuse box felt as through thorough in a sabotage of someone repetitive. Such for these barrels is quite discomforting. I certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a fine feature of blood. Okay. That's nice. Any, any fuses in this room? Pieces, please. There's one. Oh, I'm gonna turn my lantern off for a second. Okay, please stop making those noises. They're not very friendly to my health. Oh, I forgot to take it out. Okay, you stay right there. There we go. And ta-da! Habu. Okay, that opens up right there. I saw something running right there. Interesting tactic. I don't want to know the way. Where did he run? Okay, it's fine. I don't, I don't care about the laws of science or physics. I don't know how well you can see this, because it is hard for me to see in general. And the lantern does absolutely nothing to help. Okay, am I supposed to go down here? 
Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm going to rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Huh? Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have those recollections, so I have no idea how many times. Machines are creepy. Machines are creepy. Machines are creepy. Yeah. Oop, I have an itch on my forehead. That's fine. It's fine and dandy. I shall press on. Oh boy. I told you he'd come. Hey. Extraordinary. Quite extraordinary. And you brought it all. Good God, man. You have been busy. I have been busy. How tragedy focuses the mind. What else was I to do? Fall into grief, pine, and fade in my hopelessness? Possibly. Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? Okay. Am I opening this? Am I going to a secret vault of goodies? Okay. Uh. Well. Someone turn that on. Okay. I think this is good. Okay, and then I can do this. Right? Maybe. Okay. And then I just take that off. Oh, cool. I guess. Any uh, friendly dudes over here? Oh, I can open all these. Anything friendly in these? Little notes. Just some beard books. Okay. So let's try the first door. Let's not try the first door. So, like, is that where I'm at? Or am I somewhere in here? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I'm just leaving. The collar of the neck of the news. Two cups of flour, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, a handful of mints, and a leaf of herb, and it's called to keep the nursery and mixing. We'll go together. Heh. <laughs> well. It's fine. Who knows? Uh. I'm a crouch through this that is unopenable guess I have to go into this room any letters oh boy it's our I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close that there we go turn on these green cool library lamp things and okay well I'll speak to you now What? Okay. Okay, wait. Is the machine talking to me? Is this what I'm getting? Has that pig mask always been there? Why can't I interact with you? You're creepy, that's for sure. Okay. I guess I can open this now. I don't like the static. Static is not my friend. I don't like that. I don't like that in the slightest. I'll read this. 
But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own God? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now. No, no, they will not. They will happily escape field. A fealty to a god thrust upon them and worship it thus given. In this, I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled, must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great revolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Are you going to be the painter? Are you the artist? You know, I'm just gonna close this and end this episode here. I am thoroughly spooked. I'm gonna hide under this. I'm gonna not hide under this desk. I'm gonna drag a chair under the desk. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Well, that has been Amnesia Machine for Pigs, Part Three, Four. I don't know what part I'm on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know if you guys can see anything. I'll, I'll have to rewatch this video. Who knows? But, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.